Yeah, as you can see, we've got this beautiful white wintry landscape. Right when we arrived here in Big Bear, we saw people throwing snowballs in this restaurant parking lot. It's kind of what the snow makes you want to do, right? Have a little bit of fun. Uh, and I said it is beautiful out here. We're in the village. If you take a look right behind us, there have been so many people walking through here. Still lots of snow, but make no mistake, despite the beauty of all of this, there have been quite a bit of issues on the roads out there. At one point, several vehicles had to make an abrupt stop to avoid colliding with one another on Highway 18 and Running Springs. That's after we're told two vehicles crashed, causing that traffic jam. You could see a semi truck also having to stop. Some folks weren't so lucky over in Lake Arrowhead. We're told this vehicle may have lost control and collided into an oncoming snowplow. Again, the first storm of the year dumping enough snow to cause a headache along the roads in our local mountains. Lots of black ice out there. Caltrans District 8 held checkpoints as they implemented the R2 level chain control, meaning if you don't have four wheel or all wheel drive, chains are required. At the higher elevations like at Snow Summit, as of this afternoon, they received three to four inches of snow in Wrightwood, two inches of snow. And by the way, a spokesperson with Caltrans tells us that chain control has been lifted in that area. Now, despite the host of problems this wet weather has presented, folks have been enjoying it up here. The second we arrived, as I said, we caught a few of them throwing snowballs at each other in the parking lot. They tell us they were in Sequoia earlier and came here for the snow. The drive itself was raining, pouring, you know, it was pouring and everything. But I mean, we made it out here and now we're going to play in the snow. We're going to do some sledding and we're gonna do a snowball fight. Do you have four-wheel drive or chains or how? Oh, we got our chains on here. This is our truck right here. Okay. Yeah, we put some chains on there because as soon as we came up, they're like, you gotta have chains. We're gonna be snowboarding and skiing tomorrow and we'll probably just eat out at the village okay. and hang out. Now, a lot of that snow came down early this morning. We've got that winter weather advisory until 8 o'clock tonight. Again, on many mountain roads, if you don't have four-wheel or all-wheel drive, chains are required. And we were out there earlier. We saw lots of that black ice, pretty dangerous. So exercise caution. We also talked to one tow truck driver who says if you don't have AAA or your go-to tow truck driver, uh, the charge is about $300 just to get your car down the mountain if it gets stuck. Reporting in Big Bear, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Gotta have those chains ready.